Hey guys, Sam from Amphus Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. Now, several of you will have lots of questions regarding the title of this video. And I am here to announce what is going to be happening, who is involved and what is gonna be going on for the next couple of months. I am super excited and let's get this started, shall we? So the backstory, me and a couple of my wonderful, wonderful Yarny friends have decided to do a collaboration here on YouTube over the next couple of months. And we are inviting you to join along with us now. We talk to each other, we met through here, through YouTube, but we talk to each other quite regularly outside of YouTube. And we decided that it was about time that we did a joint project. And when we decided to do a joint project, we decided to open it up to you guys as well, because hey, everyone likes a crochet along, right? Now, no worries if this is not your cup of tea, we completely understand, but there will be plenty of you that will like to join along and we are more than happy to have you. But who is this we that I keep talking about? Well, guys, I have two very dear and special friends of mine who you see a lot on my channel and um, know that we talk a lot and they are, and yes, it's called the three in glasses because we all wear glasses. Glasses are not a requirement to join in this crochet along. Let me just add that little side note. The three of us, it will be me, of course. This is why I'm doing the video. It will be the beautiful Amanda, also known as Obsessive Crochet Lady. And also the equally beautiful Rebecca, also known as Suricata Crafts. So if you are not familiar with two of my best Yarny Buds, then I suggest that you click those links down below. You go and check them out and you do your utmost to join in on the fun. There is no pressure. Totally understand if you don't have the time, if you have too much going on right now. But if you are interested, stick around and I shall give you all of the details. Now, myself, Amanda and Rebecca wanted to do a crochet along and a lot of ideas were bandied around. We finally decided to settle on shawls. Now shawls are sometimes gifted around the YouTube streets as hugs. And whatever shawl pattern is decided will definitely be a, a hug for one of my friends. I don't know who, because it depends what shawl pattern is picked, what yarn I use as to who receives the hug. But if you are not a shawl wearer, if you don't know anyone in your immediate family that likes to wear shawls, maybe you could gift your shawl as a hug as well, because you can wrap yourself around um, you can wrap it around yourself and have the wonderful feeling of knowing your friend put love into every single stitch and you can feel that they are with you giving you a hug even when they physically cannot be okay so what is the plan this video plus amanda's and rebecca's are all going to land at the same time i believe or near near to it it will definitely be on the same day anyway we have each chosen a shawl pattern. They are deliberately very beginner friendly so that if you are fairly new to crochet, you are not gonna be prevented from giving it a go. Um, they are also free patterns, so you do not have to pay for any of the patterns that we will be showcasing, um, which makes it accessible to all as well. We are trying to get as many of you on board and joining in with us as we can. Um, I can only show you the shawl pattern that I have picked um, and then the other two ladies will show you their choices and then what you have to do guys is you will look at the shawl that I am about to show you, you will then visit Amanda, look at the shawl that she is going to uh, show you that she has chosen and the same with Rebecca, it doesn't have to be in that order but you need to visit all three of us you need to see what three options are available to you. And then after you have watched all three videos, you need to go back to the person whose shawl you like the most, the shawl that gets your vote. And you need to comment on that video 
I pick this one or something similar. And then when we um, let you know in a minute the dates and stuff, when we tally it together, we will be able to easily see which shawl pattern is the winner for us all to make. Now, I have picked a pattern from Hobie. It is a free pattern and it is this one here. It is the Roda shawl or Roda shawl. I'm not sure how they um, pronounce it. And the designer is Sarah Ruain, Ned and Mimi. So that is what the shawl I have chosen looks like. Now it is filet crochet, but it is a very beginner friendly pattern. And it may be the jumpstart you need to attempt filet crochet for the first time. I really love the simplicity. I love that you can wear it as a wrap, maybe even a scarf. And I love the fact that this might introduce you to a form of crochet you haven't yet dived into. So this was my choice. You can get it on the Hobie website. Just click patterns and in the search bar, put Rhoda and it should come up. And then you should be able to download the pattern to your devices and either have it in your files in your device or if you have a printer, you can print it out. But they have chosen this beautiful pink. And if I, if this pattern is the winner, because it is a Hobie shawl, I will be using some Hobie yarn. Now you do not have to use Hobie yarn if you do not have any. You can use whatever yarn you choose. Now they do recommend that you use a two weight yarn and that you use um what size hook let me see let me see let me see three millimeter so they are um suggesting a two weight a three millimeter hook and you are going to need approximately a thousand and ninety three yards which sounds like a lot but some of the cakes that hobie do are already a thousand and ninety three yards or if you have a couple of the smaller skeins, if you have several in your stash, you will be able to use several items from your stash to create this beautiful shawl. The size is one size, so it should fit most. Um, it is written in American terms, US terms, I believe. It doesn't actually state that but I am assuming so. Let me just look closely. Also guys, and I'm only gonna do this quickly because copyright, it gives you charts. So it may also help you strengthen your chart reading. Okay, please don't be intimidated. The instructions are very, very clear. They are easy to understand. And obviously, if this is the shawl pattern that is chosen, myself, Amanda and Rebecca will all be on hand to help you. Our email inboxes will be open and we will be able to help you as soon as we can. Please bear in mind that every single one of us have commitments outside of YouTube. So if there is a slight delay in response, then please, please, please be patient. If it has been a little while, then maybe nudge us on one of our other videos and say, hey, I emailed you guys, I'm stuck. Please, can you check your emails and um, give me a hand? And we will be more than happy to do so. Um, yes, so that is the shawl that I have picked now. Voting starts today, Saturday, the 27th of May, 2023. You have until, um, and I have forgotten the date. This is not very professional of me, is it? Eh? Let me scroll back through my messages with the girlies. Two seconds. Um, 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 bear with me, bear with me. I was doing so well and now I've just forgotten everything. Okay, voting ends on Monday the 29th. So you have Saturday, today, Sunday and Monday to get your votes in because 
us three ladies are going to need Tuesday to um, tally up the votes and make another video announcing what shawl pattern won. It would be great if everybody subscribes to everybody, as in if you are one of my family members but you haven't yet subscribed to Rebecca or Amanda, it would be super brilliant if you could. Let's spread the Yarny love around. Let's do this as a team. Let's do this as a real good bunch of friends. Let's make this as awesome as it possibly can be. So like I said, I have shown you the choice for my shawl pattern. You now need to not comment. You need to go and watch Amanda and Rebecca's videos. Doesn't matter what order. See what options they have available to you. Make your decision as to which you like the most and then go back to whichever of us you like the best. Not whichever of us you like the best, whichever of our choices you like the best and comment on that person's video and say, I pick this one. And then it will be easy for me, Amanda and Rebecca to tally up how many uh, people have chosen our shawl patterns and then we can get together and then once we've done that on Tuesday, we will come back on Wednesday and we will all announce the winning shawl pattern. And then we will give you further information as to how this is going to play out. Just briefly, voting starts today. Voting closes Monday. On Wednesday, we will all come back and let you know which shawl pattern won. And behind the scenes, I have looked at all three shawl patterns that have been picked and I have broken it down into what I deem manageable sections for us to do along the course of this crochet along. Now, the crochet along is going to last until the end of July. So you have the whole of June and the whole of July to get this shawl done. We didn't want it to be rushed or pressured. We wanted it to be fun. We wanted it to be exciting and we wanted you to have um, enjoyment along the way without having a real time crunch on your hands. Um, I will break it down into sections so that you can follow along with us with the parts that we're doing at each stage or you can just totally run and do it in your own speed and send pictures when you are finished. Now, I don't actually know how we are going to showcase everybody's entries. If you email me a picture of your shawl, I will pop it on my community tab. But I might speak to Rebecca and see if she is able to get everybody's pictures and do a montage at the end of the month. She is the only one of us three that is able to edit. But I don't want to put any pressure on Rebecca or ask too much of her. Um, because, like I said, we all have commitments outside of the home, guys. So although we want to do something really super special and super fun, um, there are limitations at points. But if you want to show me um, your shawl when it is done, please do feel free to email me at the end of July. And I will pop them all up on my community tab for people to see. Um, and then you'll have to find out from the other ladies what they intend to do with showcasing all of your beautiful work. Um, yes, so we plan to do a progress video every two weeks. So when I say I've broken it down into manageable chunks, it will mean that I have picked a certain amount of rows for those two weeks to give you deadlines to work towards or goals to work towards but you can go slower, you can go faster, you can get it done in a week, you can get it done, you take the whole two months, however long you need to get it done, whatever is most comfortable for you. But myself, Amanda and Rebecca will be coming on and giving you a progress video every two weeks until the two months is up. So you will get a total of five videos, I think, or is it six? There'll be plenty of videos to keep you updated with our progress. And then at the end of this collaboration on Saturday, the again, scrolling through my messages, guys, bear with, bear with. Saturday, the 29th of July, myself, Amanda and Rebecca plan to go live on my channel 
and we will reveal our finished shawls. You guys can have until the 31st, but because my regular scheduled live is a Saturday, we will have ours done a couple of days beforehand. Um, but you guys feel free to take the whole two months. And even if it takes you longer, guys, just keep going with it and send us pictures whenever you manage to finish. Like I say, no stress, no fuss, no drama, no pressure. There isn't even any pressure for you to join in. We just want to give you the option to join along with us or cheerlead us from the sidelines if you are too busy and have too much on your plate. Either way, your support will be absolutely fantastic and so, so appreciated. So I am gonna stop waffling. I am gonna stop confusing the issue. All you need to know is voting starts today. You need to watch my video, you need to watch Amanda's video, and you need to watch Rebecca's video. And then once you have watched all three, make choice and make your comment on that person's video so that your vote counts. It will be who gets the most votes. You've got until Monday, guys. If you vote after that time, it will not be counted. And then we will come back on Wednesday and let you know which shawl won. And we'll leave it there for a minute because when we tell you what, which shawl won, then I'll give you the segments of um, when um, each bit that we're going to be doing will be done by and take it from there. So Amanda's link and Rebecca's link are going to be down in the description box. Please not only watch this video and join in for this. If you can, if you have got time, please watch some of their previous content to help them out with watch hours. Please do join their family if you're not already. Um, and let's get this Yarny Love crochet along going. And we call ourselves the three in glasses. So who's up for the crochet along? It will be so wonderful to have you. Um, but like I said, no pressure. Whoever can brilliant whoever can't that's absolutely fine but if you could cheer us along the way that would be awesome too so guys go over and check out their videos see what beautiful shawl they have to offer and then make your decision one last time this is my choice it is the Rhoda shawl on the Hobie website and it is fillet crochet so Go watch everyone's videos, go make choice, go vote. And I will be back with the winning choice on Wednesday. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get started. And I will be using Hobie Yarn if this one wins. And I will be using yarn from my stash, regardless of which one is the winner. So let's get this party started. Go watch me, mates. Go and pick your fave and then we'll come back and discuss what is going to happen next. Okay, guys, love you loads. Until I see you again, stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Let's have fun. Love you.